Universal Spirit Center. And happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you. Ah, good to see everybody this morning. I sing my love, I sing my love, I sing my love into the world. I sing my love, I sing my love, I sing my love into the world. I sing, I sing my love, I sing my love, I sing my love into the world. I sing my love, I sing my love, I sing my love into the world. I I dance my song, I dance my song, I dance my song, I dance my song into the world. I dance my song, hey now, I dance my song, I dance my song into the world. I dance, I dance my song, I dance my song, I dance my song into the world. I dance my song, I dance my song, I dance. My song into the world. I sing my love. I sing my love. I sing my love. I sing my love into the world. I sing my love. I sing my love. I sing my love into the world. Keep it standing. Keep that energy happening. Welcome to Universal Spirit Center. You are virtual family online as well. Let's give some love for Linda Ely on keys, Oliver on bass, and Matt on drum. That's the sounds of spirit rocking it in the house. I am Gino Walker, your music production director. Whoop, 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 whoop. Good to be here with you this morning. So let's sing our congregational song. I'm so thankful. Oh. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Go ahead, Michael. I'm thankful, so grateful. I am one in the spirit all around me. I'm thankful, so grateful. I trust in God. I'm thankful, so grateful. I am one in the spirit all around me. I'm thankful, so grateful. I trust in God. I surrender, I surrender, I surrender. I surrender. Come on, you can do this. I surrender. There we go. I trust, oh, thankful, I surrender, I surrender, I am one in the spirit all around me, I surrender, I surrender, I trust in God, said I'm thankful, I'm so thankful, so grateful. I am one in the spirit all around me. I'm thankful, so grateful. I trust in God. I trust in God. Woo the incomparable Gino. And Sounds of Spirit Band, our house band. I'm Reverend Sherry, and a great and glorious and blessed day to all of you in the house and to you online. And yes, I'm wearing some shamrocks. And you don't have to be Irish to know the abundance and the goodness of the divine. So we lift up our hearts today. If you're new with us, I think I see some uh, new faces either online or here. If you're here with us in the house, 
in front of you, in the seat pocket in front of you. There's a little card and fill that out and we can get to know you and we can send you information about all the goings on and the doings. I'm here today as host for our gathering. Reverend Kevin is continuing to walk his journey of healing and grief. So we send our love to him. And our special speaker today and musician, as always, is our Gino Walker. Woo! Gino's in the house. So I just invite us to, yeah, come on up. Come on up, Bob. No? Come on up, Gino. <laughs> Hello, everyone, again. Uh, a wonderful announcements today from our APs, but first we'll start with our history. Louisville police killed Brianna Taylor during a nighttime knock knock raid. On this day in 2020, Louisville police officers shot and killed 26 year old Brianna Taylor during a no knock raid in the middle of the night. An investigation later revealed that the officers had already located the main suspect in the case before they broke into Miss Taylor's house. Doesn't seem like that was so long ago, 2020, right? So let's just take a breath and let us breathe into our prayer. I'll, re I'll say the first line and you repeat after me. We are the light bearers of love and forgiveness. Vibrating the flames of equality, grace, and peace. All over the world. Embracing our history is key to overcoming. Systemic racial, sexual, and mental inequality. We are all part of our history. <sighs> yeah, let's just take that breath. It's nice. So our call to action from our racial equality is Anna Sen Sendovel. It's a video. As a member of the Kumaye tribe, uh, tribal nation in San Diego, Anna has been a mentor, matriarch, and an inspiration to many women, both in her native community and throughout San Diego County. As the first female tribal leader, Anna strived and achieved a level of prosperity that had been unknown prior to her work. If you have, if, oh, so if you go on our webpage, uh, you can see the video, it's really quite beautiful. She created a, a bingo, uh, company that helped supply, I know, right, Bingo? <laughs> uh, she created that and helped support a lot of people in her community. It brought jobs and everything. It's a great video. And also, I've been asking from our community, if you have women that you want to celebrate, send me something, a paragraph on a woman, Gino, at Universal Spirit Center. This is Women's Month, and so we just want to honor the women in our life, or if it's someone outside that you know. If you you think about it, send me something, I would love that. And uh, this coming Wednesday, our Awakening Wednesday, Kathleen is here. Kathleen, please stand up. <laughs> Moving with the unknown. Moving with the unknown is the body is an expert at moving with the rhythms of life. Join us for an embodiment exploration of the ways we can dance more ease fully with the mysteries of life. So come and be with us in person. We won't stream you online dancing. It's very <laughs> private and personal, um, and it's a beautiful way to come and celebrate. Also, I want to give a big shout out. REP had our last fundraiser yesterday, which we had a bingo. Uh, we should have some pictures in there to show. Uh, really, really cool. We had a great time here yesterday. I want to thank everyone that has supported this fundraiser for us to go to D.C. We leave April 1st through the 6th. You have been just really wonderful in supporting us. There's about 12 of us going. And so we... We'll go there, we'll go to the African American Museum and the Native Museum and a lot of museums and <laughs> a lot of knowledge. So when we come back to the community, put this in your little 
cap that on a Wednesday night we will have everyone come together and we will share what took place. So uh, just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. We had a great time at Bingo. And thank you for supporting us. Top of the morning to you. That's, that's it. That's my Irish brogue. So if you have any questions about what we went, uh, t said so far, what about it, I'm about to tell you, please go online uh, to universalspiritcenter.org for all your answers. Heart Song, Tuesday night, come get some loving care with Lauren Grace. Move and sing. This process is gentle and powerful. 6.30 at the office across the street, and it is a fee-based Crystal Bowles Meditation with Maria Teresa. Maria, stand up. <laughs> Next Sunday, bathe in the chakra tune uh, sounds right here in this room. Oh, and then I have to, do, Roland's not here to help me out. <laughs> Guess what? So Easter brunch, the 31st. We have tickets on sale now um, at the bookstore with Jim or online. That was my big reveal. <laughs> so, what do you get when you cross poison ivy with a four-leaf clover? A rash of good luck. Thank you. Oh, Bob. And I... I uh, also want to mention our youth are meeting across the street in our classroom with Dre. Bring your youngins. Oh, she's here, still here. Stand up, Dre. In case. There, there you are. Thank you for doing that. And stay standing, Dre. And all of you, let's stand up. A time to warmly greet one another, share that love. And to you online, hello, hello. And let's turn and look at the clock. There's a camera under the clock there. And wave to everybody. Hello to those online too. Woohoo! Wonderful love, wonderful, wonderful. Let's all come on and take that energy and anchor that into our seats. I just love that energy, don't you? And as we settle in, and uh, Margot Elora wanted to remind me that Saturday with Angels is next Saturday. And where's it going to be? One o'clock, and there's a sign up out and back. See Margo. Margo, stand up and wave there. You can see her for that gathering. And now Borghild is going to come up, and we're going to shift our energy a little bit. Come on up. Good morning, Universal Spirit Center. I'm Borghild Kellenberger, and it is such an honor to be here with you today. Ah, oh, yes. And so I'm going to, we're going to do a short centering 
just prepare ourselves for our reading and our meditation and then we'll be in the meditation for a couple of minutes and I will bring you back with a prayer. So just breathe into the space your body occupies right here and right now where you are. Be aware of the chair that supports you. Be aware of the sounds around you. <laughs> and just breathe. And I want to just take an opportunity to say this because I forgot at the beginning that there will be prayer in the back room after the service. And there is the table next to me where you can write out a prayer request if you want to receive prayer during the week from one of our practitioners, and we will all hold you in prayer. And our reading for this morning is nice and short, but so powerful. And it's by Florence Scovel Shin. Spiritual development means the ability to stand still or to stand aside and just let infinite intelligence lift your burdens and fight your battles. So I know that right here, right now, spiritual intelligence is guiding me. It's guiding me to the words I speak to right here, right now, today. 
is guiding me with my breath, is guiding me with my heartbeat, and is guiding me on my way to my highest good. And I know that that same spirit that infuses me, infuses each one of you gathered here this morning, right where you are on in your seat, right where you are online, the divine just infuses you with that love, with that peace, with that wholeness, with that joy, with that life, that even though sometimes the circumstances may not look like it, it is always working for your highest good. So knowing that I get out of my own way and allow this divine intelligence to move me, to create me, to be me, I am in awe and I am in gratitude. And so I know that this divine intelligence moves in the words of our guest speaker today and Gino. I know that her message will leave us with something to ponder, something to take home with us for the week. And I'm knowing that also the music that comes from that beautiful God voice of Gino just infuses us with that love. I am knowing also that that divine intelligence plays itself in the band behind me and in the tech support that is right behind the screens as it is in the hands that so lovingly prepared this place for us. And how grateful I am to know this, how grateful I am to accept the gifts of divine intelligence right here, right now. And so it is.
sweet song. I am wrapped up in spirit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dear Lord. This is my story. This is my, my own sweet song. Awesome. Thank you. Gino, you are our spiritual can opener. And now that you've opened us, fill us, baby. Fill us. <laughs> Thank you, Reverend Sherry. Thank you so much. Uh, I've never been a can opener before. But I can understand it. <laughs> So in a few minutes, um, I'm glad you said that can opener. We're going to open up a can opener together. I'm going to ask you to join me in a blessing that you will say to the person to your right. Then you will turn to the person to your left. Then you will turn to me and say the blessing. And then we will rise and say the blessing to our people virtually. Are you with me? All right, Michael, let's put up that slide, please. So it says, the presence of God in me blesses the presence of God in you. So we'll turn to our right and say to the presence of God, me, blesses the presence of God in you. Turn to your left. The presence of God in me blesses the presence of God in you. Turn to the front. The presence of God in me blesses the presence of God in you. Now let's turn to our virtual family. The presence of God in me blesses the presence of God in you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's super awesome. You know, the, the topic today was already picked. It's called Stepping Into Our Dreams. And it was not what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> but as this was downloading, I'm like, oh, it is. I just probably would have called it something different. So as I realized that we are stepping into this greater vision of what we can be collectively, this is the new dream that we are birthing right now. There is in this dream this chaos of the old that we're having to release and also that we're having to find our way in feeling, you know, I'm big into vibration and frequency. And so as we are awakening our realization, our awareness of our vibration, of our frequency, that's stepping beyond where we've been before. This dream that is a global dream, a world that works for all. And also, a world that works where you can be who you want to be without me feeling that it's stepping on my toes. That's a big dream that we're stepping into. And each of us right here, right now, we have created our own world. You're sitting next to someone but the world that you've created within your own mind is what you're living. 
And so now as we start to step into this even more so, recognizing that we are full participants. We are fully engaged either in the world that we want to create or a world that we create by default. But make no doubt about it, baby. You are creating. We are all creating. Nothing is created without it coming from within the mind. Our consciousness, we're creating from within there. Everything that we see visible, and I know you know this, but when we really start to understand that everything you see in your life visible, whatever you're living right now, you have created that. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Let me take another. <laughs> Sometimes that's hard to swallow. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> but if we are standing in this space that I believe that we are, as the foreseers, as those that are going on a new path, creating a world that does work for all, we can't do it with the old baggage that we had before. That's each and every one of us. We cannot carry the old and think, oh, this is going to be different. Doesn't work that way. And with that, um, one of the things that I've been running through is how much do I trust? How much do I trust what I say I believe in? How much, Gino? And I get to ask this question and answer it on a daily practice. So last night, I live here in North Park, and in my community, we have the wonderful Lafayette Hotel, which creates and attracts so many beautiful people, and they all have cars. <laughs> they have cars, and I don't have my own special parking space. So as I was leaving here after a fantastic night of bingo and fun, the thought came like, oh God, I got to hurry up and get home because I got to find a parking space before they take all the parking spaces. And I was like, literally like picking stuff up. I was like, take a breath, my child. It's okay. Spirit can work out a parking space. Because I'm like, I'm not going to go to the store. I was like, you have nothing at home to eat. Go to the store. Do what you got to do. So I was like, okay. When I go to the store, I get a parking space immediately. I was like, this is fantastic. So I finish my shopping. I get home. And it is just ring around the rosy with people that are driving. And I can feel my energy starting to shift and oh my God, I'm gonna be out here all night. I'm tired, I want some rest. Speaking of that, I have got to take these heels off right now. <laughs> you can't see, thank God. That's how I knew I could do that. So I'm, I'm, I feel the energy in me, literally. My frequency is getting ready to go into vic victimhood. And I know what that feeling feels like. I could feel it happening. And it's not that it's just about the parking space. See, when that frequency comes up, the frequency that you are accustomed to, that frequency brings up all the other little stuff that you got going on. So it's not just about the parking space anymore. It's like, oh, why is life not treating me good? Why am I in this spot had, if I had planned better? I mean, it's like a whole ensemble that starts to play. So I pulled over and I was like, wait a minute, Gino. Is this how you are going to live? Are you going to live like this? Because if you're going to live like this, then it has to continue to show up like this. It cannot change. I was like, right. Right, that is not how I choose to live. So I took a breath, I was like, of course there's a parking space for me. You always find a parking space. And this low level energy, this low level frequency, I do not want to participate in this. This is not who I am. I'm a divine child of God. From a parking space, this is coming. I'm like, wow. So I talk myself into like, Everything is good. It's, you know what, everything's great. Just take another little run around. So I drive back around again. And when I come back around, the place where I was parked, the car had pulled out from behind. I was like, God had me in the right place at the right time. But because I didn't trust it, I couldn't see it at that time. And there's so many times we can't see it. So we think nothing's happening. It is not happening, God. I asked you for this, but I don't see it. Where is it? 
And especially when it's finances or when it's our health, we are so plugged in that I asked, and where is it? I've looked in my bank account five minutes ago and it's not showing up. <laughs> but then someone may call you and say, you know, I just wanted to share with you that you're really such a beautiful light in my life. Yeah, 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 but there ain't no money in my bank account. <laughs> Prime opportunity just went, flew it, just threw it out the door. That's prosperity too. I had to start checking myself on that. Like, do you know that's prosperity too? Don't don't just don't pin prosperity into a small little box. We are bigging a we are dreaming a bigger dream. That box has to be opened up. Has to be opened up. And so I was like, wow. And I laughed. I was like, oh my goodness, I was here ahead of time, but I didn't know it. I didn't know it, but it had already been paved. So where am I trusting? Am I trusting in what I can see or can I trust in what I feel? Can we shift to a space of living that we trust what we feel more than what we see? Have we gotten there yet? We trying. I know I'm trying to get there. No matter what I see, to trust what I feel within me, because that's communication that's happening from the power and the presence from within me. I don't have to know where it is. This is restructuring our mind and our bodies to be in alignment with this vibrational feeling that's coming up every day, all day long. But unless we start to tap into it, we think, oh, I'm just, I'm just feeling good because today I feel good. But can you feel good without looking outside? Can you choose to feel good? In the midst of the bank account, in the midst of the, the health, can you choose to feel good? Can that be enough? Will it be enough? Um, I had um, a, a powerful, powerful woman here this past Wednesday, um, Selena. We are going to do a series together. She just wrote a book called Raise Your Frequency, Transform Your Life. And she said something. She said she was getting ready to speak, and she said, oh, wait a minute. Words have power, so I'm very mindful of what I say. I was like, oh. That is fabulous. Because a lot of times we don't stop to think what we're saying about ourselves or someone else. Michael, put up slide two. This is a beautiful writing by Sweet Maya Angelou. It said, words are things. Be careful about calling people out of their names. Don't do that. Someday we'll be able to measure the power of words. They get on the walls. They get in your wallpaper. They get in your rugs, in your upholstery, and your clothes, and finally, into you. I know the dog said amen to that. <laughs> I'm with you, baby. He's like, we've been trying to tell you that. They get into you. So when you think you're mindlessly saying, oh, you know, I just want to give you this little gift. Well, already you've demeaned the gift. Already out of your mouth you said, this gift that I'm giving to you, it's not enough. Where is the power in that? We must begin to be like a cat and observe everything that we're thinking. Observe what you're saying. Check in to see what you're feeling. We can't carry a feeling of joy and anger at the same time. It's just impossible. You can do one or the other, but you can't do them together. I remember um, uh, Abraham said to uh, this parent, Ab Abraham Hicks said, you know, you can't love your child and be mad at them at the same time. I don't care what you say. <laughs> if you're mad at them, you're mad at them. Do you still love them? Yes, but in that moment, the emotion that is coming up, the frequency that's being put out is one of anger. It's one of anger. 
things. So when you wake up in the morning, before you even begin your day, what frequency are you putting out into your world that you are creating? The God within you is powerful. But unless you participate from a space of power, you are participating as a human being without God consciousness. Did you hear that? That just came through. I'm like, oh, God, that was, that was pretty tight. <laughs> the God within you is a powerful being. And unless you recognize that you are a God presence, you are merely participating as a human being. As a human being. And human beings create lots of wonderful challenges so that the God presence can expand. They both go together. There's no right or wrong. But if you don't expand into the greatness that is calling you forward, then you feel stuck. You feel as though life is not working for you. People are not on your side. But you know who's not on your side? They're exactly. You. You're the one with yourself 24-7. I remember some years ago, um, in my world of dating, I did not like the men that I was dating. And I was talking to a friend of mine. And I was like, you know, and he, nom, 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 and, and he did, and, boop, nom, nom, and do you know he did. And she looked at me and said, well, Gino, do you know who the common denominator is? <laughs> and, I, and I didn't get it. I was like, who? I was like, she said, it's you. I was like, how you going to talk to me like that? But I went home, because it really did. It hurt my feelings. I'm like, how dare she say that? You know how that, that hamster wheel was going. How dare she say that? So what? She been married for 10 years. So what? She don't know everything. And I was so caught in that. And when I got home, I had a moment of quiet. And I was like, well, yeah. Derek is not dating John. I am. John's not dating Derek. I am. And it was like, wow. It is me. So at first I was like, oh, am I a bad person? What's wrong with you, Gino? What's wrong with you? Because when we're in that low frequency, that's what we go to. We, we go there. And there's, I mean, I know you don't want to say it, but there's some sense of comfort there. It's like eating that favorite comfort food. It's like, I know this feeling. You've never left me. This feels good. And so when I, when I got through that, I decided to be celibate for a while. So I could see men from a different vibration. At that time, I wasn't using vibration and energy. I just wanted to be able to see them as loving human beings. Because in all honesty, I didn't. I saw them very differently. I saw them as people I could not trust, people that would let me down. So I had taken a relationship that had happened with my dad and his understanding of what a father-daughter relationship and my understanding of what a father-daughter was two totally different things. He did the best he could, but I saw the relationship very differently. And I, I, I marked all men as that. All of them. I know. Ooh. But going through that sabbatical because I wanted to be able to just see them as beautiful human beings, not as something to get something from, not as something to use, but to see the beauty in each man as is. It took a little while because I had some practices that it took a little while. But sometimes it takes a little while and so we are recognizing right now, it has taken us a little while to get here. It has taken us a little while to get to this place where we collectively are saying there can be a better dream for this world. Everybody doesn't know how that dream is going to be fulfilled, but we are all thinking there can be a better dream for this world. And now you're starting to think, how can I be a better part of that dream? 
what can I do? How can I facilitate in my world, in my livingness, in my consciousness, how can I participate? How can I do that? So I want to take us through a little process. Linda will be here shortly. Let's sit up in our chairs. I just want to do a little uh, a practice of working with your own frequency and vibration right now. So let's take a breath in. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And then release through your mouth. Take another deep breath in. And release. So as you're sitting here, find a thought that feels good to you. Our objective right now is just to find that feeling of good, what feels good, what fills your spirit with joy, whatever that is. It could be seeing butterflies. It could be listening to, uh, oh, no, it could be listening to a dog bark. It could be the laughter of a child. Whatever it is, that feeling of feeling good, just breathe into that. Now as you're breathing into that, feel that in your body. Feel how that good feeling feels in your body. And if right about now, somebody or something comes up that's trying to distract you, let's forgive. If something is coming up or someone, or you're holding something that has popped up right now, let's go ahead and forgive that energy. Forgive that person, forgive that experience. Just breathe into that and breathe out. When you breathe out, you breathe out forgiveness. You let, you let it go. And once you let that go, connect again with the mind and the body on feeling good. Right now, Trust that feeling. Trust this feeling that this is the feeling when you are feeling this vibration of joy, of good, you are connected with your internal source. You are connected with God. And it's in this space that you want to create from. It's in this vibration that you want to live from. You're training your mind right now and your body to respond to this feeling, to this vibration. And if you find that you're coming in and out, it's okay. If something comes up that pulls you out of your joy, you breathe in and you breathe out forgiveness. Just let it go. This is a practice to have your mind and your body know this feeling and know that this feeling is the feeling of God. It's the feeling of good. Take another deep breath. deep breath knowing that I and my father are one 
that you are joined now in the high level frequency of the divine magnificence that you can tap into this awareness anytime, any day, throughout your day. And that it is in this divine space that we are creating the new dream. We are creating the new world. A world that works for all, a world that works for you. Trust this loving feeling. Trust this yumminess best ice cream ever. Mm, it just feels so good. Trust that feeling good is of absolute value.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sounds a spirit. Yes. Blessings. Thank you. Well, my can has been opened up and I have been filled. Thank you again, Gino. I am that God presence. You are that God presence. We are that God presence. And so let us take that consciousness into this time of conscious giving. It is from all that we receive in our personal lives, but especially here in this beautiful, blessed community through the teachings, through the events, and yes, fun, community fun, bingo night. <laughs> and the abundance flows, and it flows from us. It flows from me, it flows from the divine through me, through us. And without financially giving to Universal Spirit Center, to this beautiful community, for going on 23 years now. Without that financial giving, the lights wouldn't stay on. This broadcast wouldn't be happening. We are live streaming throughout the world. Hundreds of people, how amazing is that? It is that divine spirit. Because all that I have received, when I walked through those doors, I was a little lost. Like many of you have shared over the years at this time during the gathering, I sat in the back and I cried every Sunday. Not for sadness, well maybe some, but it was a release. I called it my spirit tears. It was just like, oh my gosh, this is the words, this is the love I needed to feel, the words I needed to hear. This is the place that is replenishing my soul. And it was there that I decided to become a minister and going through that process of taking classes and getting to know all of you and having you fill me from that spirit that is in you. And what a gift. So I invite you to give, and thank you, by the way, all who have pledged for our budget for this year, so we can continue the ministry for ourselves, but also out into the world. How exciting is that? How exciting. So could I have the card? So if you have a financial gift with you, I invite you to place it on your heart. 
If you have a spiritual gift, I invite you to place your hand on your heart. If you are in need of a gift of love, I invite you to place your hands on your heart. And would you repeat after me? As I receive, so I give. Spirit flowing through me. Spirit flowing to me. Spirit flowing out into the world. And abundantly, and so it is. stepped outside but Kathleen Pat please stand they're part of the uh, fun REP fundraiser and Corinne's outside with the dog have done so much work thank you thank you thank you awesome thank you here we go money is coming to me ha. I can just feel it and I believe it's coming to me now and I'm not worried about Thank you again, Gino. 
Sounds of spirit. I don't know. So let me step in then, because our, our Global Heart Tithe recipient is here. Our beautiful Fern Nelson, let's give her some love. Come on up, Fern. Fern. Fern has been a part of our community for a long time, and it's the African American Museum of Fine Arts. Um, I had the pleasure of going there along with the rest of REP. We went there a couple of months ago to the art exhibit at what museum? Uh, we were at Balboa Park at the Tempe Museum. Balboa Park the Temp uh, Tempe Museum, which is always free. I just want to let you know it's always free. Beautiful exhibit in there. And I love the work that they also do with our young people to help keep them involved in arts. And so we have a Global Heart Tithe for you. I should have an envelope to hand to you. So just here you go, just like that. <laughs> Look at there. Come on up and step up. Okay. Um, there, there is so much in, your, in, in the spirit today. I'm like, oh my gosh, so much love that I feel whenever I'm here, and I really appreciate that. And it, I've never been in a, in a spiritual community that actually ties to the world. Mm -hmm. And I find that amazing that you do. And to be a recipient is, is just wonderful. So um, let me just say that um, the African American Museum of Fine Art has been, we've been around for maybe 10 years, and we are a museum without walls, which is really cool. So we believe in taking art to people as opposed to bringing it and making people go somewhere. So we put exhibits all through San Diego and actually through the country, and we are going to be through the world soon. So it's really too cool for words. Um, we've had exhibits at the Children's Museum here in San Diego, in Balboa Park, and several places at the Museum of Contemporary Art downtown at San Diego State. And we put the first virtual exhibit ever in Central Park in New York. I mean, it's just crazy. So right now, I want to invite you to um, the Timken Museum, which is always free. We have a piece there by Kehinde Wiley, and this is the um, African and African American artist who did the uh, Obama's portrait. And um, it's this huge, amazing piece of work. Even when you go, it's just like, oh, you can't, you just can't stand it. It's so crazy. Um, what what Kehinde Wiley does is he looks just for some black person walking down the street, a black man usually, and he talks to them, invites him to his studio to look through all of the works of the old masters. And the gentleman will pick an old master that he wants to be depicted as. And then Kehinde Wiley will put, um, in this case, it's a black man on a horse in an original painting by Van Dyck. And, and he interprets the old masters in terms of contemporary art. And it's just crazy beautiful. So I invite you there. I'm going to say one more thing. I'm going to stop. Um, I'm also part of the Coronado Historical Museum. And who knew Coronado had black, you know, people <laughs> from way back when? I mean, I live on Coronado, and I think there are like five of us. <laughs> but there are black people back in the 1890s that helped build the um, Hotel Dell and the Historical Museum in Coronado right now, which is at 1100 Orange in Coronado, has this beautiful exhibit of the history of Coronado looking through mm, the eyes of black people, the black people that live there. And I'm just going to finish now. So there's one black family that lived there, Gus Thompson, who was a... Mm, he, he was the stagecoach driver for Babcock, who built the Hotel Dell. His family was able to buy property, and they built property in an apartment building, and blah, blah, blah. They had property, and they rented to a Chinese family because nobody would rent to Chinese at that time. And they eventually um, sold one of their homes to the Chinese family, who are the Dong family. So this little guy who was two years old, and his brother, they're now in their 90s. And when they heard about the exhibit, and well, we got in touch with them about the exhibit, they came and they were so moved that they decided when they sold their property, which is now, they were gonna donate their share to, which is $5 million, to the uh, San, Diego, San Diego State 
Black Resource Center. So from our just looking at what's going on in Coronado in the 1890s, we got developed it to a $5 million like contribution to, to San Diego State. And the Dongs are naming it after the Thompsons who gave them the house. So at any rate, I'm gonna quit, but go to the Coronado Museum, Historic Museum and see that and go to the Timken in Balboa Park and see that. And we are so grateful for your contribution and the love that's here. So thank you. <laughs> Fern Nelson, Fern Nelson, thank you so much. All right, Sherry. And so not only do we be follow the rainbow to the pot of gold, we are the rainbow bringing the pot of gold like the Thompsons, like the Dongs. And so blessings to each of us as we go out and be rainbows into the world today. I have you rise up. Let us rise up as we bring this together in the Join blessings hands. to all. Join hands as we sing our final song together. Go in abundance and a blessing. I'm thankful, so grateful. Sunday. Thank you for your love and